Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and today we will address one of the most frequently asked questions. Well, this is not a question which is asked to me very frequently, but uh, many times I get people telling that they have been asked this question. Okay, <laughs> and the question is, how should we get rid of inferiority complex? Well, what is inferiority complex, and why does it happen, and how to get rid of it? Or how to cure it okay so these are the points which we will try to address today and if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation from me then you could go down to the description section to my website and God is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him so now what is inferiority complex inferiority complex is a product of self absorption Neg negative self-absorption and what is superiority complex superiority complex is a product of um, superior self-absorption <laughs> yes but the problem with these two is both are products of self-absorption okay so one of the biggest counters of inferiority complex is to develop some humility Humility and inferiority complex look very similar. Humility means to know that everything is not under my control. I, I have done what is in my power. I have done my best. And after that, it is dependent on my karma and God's will. So one who knows this is humble. He becomes humble, I would say. Or he should become humble. <laughs> or he will become humble. But suppose a person thinks that everything is dependent on my will, on my efforts, then the person runs into inferiority complex or superiority complex. Because suppose the person sees failure, then he will think that, oh, see, I failed because my efforts did not give results. Or suppose he becomes successful, then he thinks that, I have become successful because it's me, you know, it's me and my efforts. No, it's not that. It is our efforts and we have our destiny. That, that is why you will see there are many people who will write uh, entrance exam. And uh, like, for example, some of my friends or one of my very close friends, he's preparing for UPSC exam in India, which is a very competitive exam you know hundreds and thousands and lakhs of people you know they write this exam it's like a crazy competition in india it's very difficult to get into the indian administrative service the topmost but the question is i have talked to many people who have given the upsc exams and they tell me that the top 1000 people who are selected for the interview or for the mains i don't know much technicalities of that exam but for the interview those who are selected they say that it is not that one person is better than the other okay all of them are of the same level same level doesn't mean they are exactly the same but at a generic sense the knowledge base which they have and the ability to present themselves that is the same or at least for the top 500 or the top 1000. But then what is there in that special 50 or 100 who get selected into IAS or IPS or IFS or IRS, whatever? What is that? Well, it is their karma. And what is that which is not there in those who don't get selected? Is it, is it that they are not able, they are not capable? No, it's not like that. But that's what is destiny. What you get is not 100% dependent on who you are in this life and your efforts. Yes. Because many times you will see that things just happen effortlessly. Effortlessly doesn't mean you don't do anything, but you do what is required and then the things happen. But sometimes you see you put 10 times effort and it doesn't happen. And sometimes you put 50% of the efforts and then it happens. So basically, having knowledge of the fact that there are things which are beyond our control makes us humble and they, that makes our life very easy because then we don't keep cursing ourselves or we don't keep boasting about ourselves either way right 
because then we know that the fact that I have lost this, it, it does not mean that I am less deserving in my current situation. Somehow it is not there in my karma. Or the very fact that I have got something does not mean that I am better than somebody. That person has had put the same efforts like me, but it was not there in his destiny. So he didn't get. It was there in mine, so I got it. So that makes us humble. But when we think that we are the makers of anything and everything that happens in our life, we are the soul makers. All right? There is no God's will, or there is no destiny, nothing. Then what happens? We keep jumping from inferiority complex to superiority complex. Because, because uh, the problem with superiority complex is that one day you will develop inferiority complex. Because if you have superiority complex, if you think you are better than others, then what happens? One day somebody will overpower you. And that is how you will again develop inferiority complex. And inferiority complex is a product of unhealthy comparison. Okay, so for example, an elephant is an elephant in a particular area. He is very strong. Now, the snake is strong in another area, you see. The elephant can run, can walk, but the snake can go anywhere. Snake is very thin, very slim. But the elephant cannot just go anywhere, you see. But there are so many things which the elephant can do, which the snake will need many, many, many lifetimes maybe to do. Yes. So, we need to identify where our strengths are. And we need to work on those strengths, improving ourselves. Then we will see that we are unique. Because everybody will have strengths and expertise in some area. And everybody are, each one of us is by default unique. So, we don't have to keep running behind other people or anything else. Because they say that be unique, but everybody is unique already. <laughs> you don't have to become unique. You are already unique. You are unique. I am unique. He is unique. She is unique. Everybody is unique. But when we try to pretend uh, like somebody else or being somebody else, when we try to pretend that, oh, I am not this person, I am that person, then inferiority complex comes. Then we start feeling choked up because this material world, as Lord Krishna says in the Gita, is a place of misery. Dukhala Mashashvatam. Yes. So then what happens? Any time in this material world, as the scriptures also say, Padam Padam Yad Dipadam Natesham. This world is a place of danger. Padam Padam, every step, Vipadam means danger, problems. So then what happens? Suppose today somebody becomes a Miss Universe. Okay. Then she gets into superiority complex. So I am the most beautiful woman to have ever been born in this world. Then what happens? Next year, somebody else comes and maybe she, she gets more name and fame than this Miss Universe, the ex Miss Universe. So then the earlier Miss Universe, she gets into inferiority complex. Oh, why they are praising her so much? Why not me? What? Does she look more beautiful than me? Yes. That is how it happens. So we have to understand that we are individuals with a proper set of karma and free will. All right. So when we understand the law of karma, when we understand the fact that our best need not be the best, which means that even if I do everything properly, it is not necessary that the result should come then we will never run into inferiority complex because then we know we are content inside. We are happy, we are satisfied. Okay, I have done my best. I can sleep peacefully. I do not suffer from insomnia. Okay, suffering from insomnia means either you are a victim of superiority complex or inferiority complex, self-absorption basically. Okay, so then what happens is we cannot sleep because either we are trying to prove to somebody, no, no, I am better, you see, or we are trying to prove to ourselves. Or we are trying to prove somebody that, you know, I am not that bad person that you think, you know, I am, I am good actually. 
because it is great to be good but it's not good to be great should i repeat it's great to be good but not very good to be great that was the difference between yudhishthir and duryodhan the pandavas and the kauravas the pandavas headed by the great dharmaraj yudhishthir always wanted to be good but the kurus headed by duryodhan and company always wanted to be great they wanted to boast look i am powerful he is powerful this is there that is there my god so they always wanted to be great and that is why they were the least deserving candidates for the kingdom of hastinapur duryodhan and company <laughs> so now it is up to us who we want to be like we want to be like the pandavas or we want to be like the kauravas all right and what's the biggest and the easiest way to get rid of inferiority complex the easiest way is to absorb our thoughts in spirituality in the divinity in the divine because ultimately inferiority complex comes when we are thinking only about ourselves 24 hours i am good at this i am bad at this he said this what will happen this will happen that will happen so just by knowing the law of karma it's not sufficient it will not solve the problem it can give us some intellectual relief but the ego is self absorbed okay so we need to we need to uh, transfer that self absorption into absorption in the scriptures is by reading the stories of the scriptures by while uh, singing kirtans why chanting slok shlokas while chanting stotrams when we realize the greatness of god then we realize how insignificant we are and then there is no question of any inferiority or superiority complex because then there is no complex you see so for example uh, if you meet hanuman ji some day he will never be a victim of inferiority complex why because uh, he 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 is not thinking about himself only <laughs> he is only thinking of one person who is that yes he is only thinking of lord ram he is only 24 by 7 he is concerned what lord ram wants when he wants how he wants how he does not want what if this happens that happens will he be happy will he be unhappy will he be miserable <laughs> so there is no time for him to think of himself of about himself so he will never sit and think oh am i good for this what if he thinks like this about that go to hell what who thinks about us so if we think of lord ram or krishna then all our complexes will go away because lord vishnu is like that electric uh, that uh, that electric socket it's like a uh, 10000 volt if you stay and you touch then you also get the shock and maybe you are burnt what is burnt all your negativity is burnt okay but if you are sitting with people and you know competing unnecessary unhealthy competition i don't mean healthy competition i mean unhealthy competition okay he has that many followers in instagram she has that many followers in instagram she has that many uh, facebook friends he has that many youtube subscribers you know i will compete with this person i will prove to her i will prove to him that he or she is less than me i am the main man <laughs> okay so if we uh, stop if we continue to associate with people who are uh, discussing about all this dirty rubbish politics then we will become more and more conscious about ourselves okay so let us choose our association properly let us choose the people that we meet properly let us choose the people that will inspire us that will make us uh, absorb our consciousness in god and divinity and then our self absorption will reduce okay and unless we do that it is not possible to get rid of inferiority complex because the world will always present some reason to be unhappy to feel that you are not a very good person not internally but externally the world will always present situations which will force us to think that i am not good enough 
So during that time, if we are thinking of ourselves, then we will get into inferiority complex. We will think that, oh, I am not good enough, you see. And because of this, we get too much affected by what others think about us. I know so many people, they are wasting so much time in social media, you know, taking filtered photos, 20, 30 filters, finding the best caption, finding the best uh, photo, finding the best angle. What happens if they see your natural photo? Why? You don't like it, right? Maybe you think inside that you don't look good. That is why you are putting all these filters. You are trying to pretend to everybody that, no, 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 I look very good. But suppose somebody tells you that you are not looking very good, then what happens? Oh, I become a victim of inferiority complex, right? That is why I want to remain in the superiority complex. But at the end of the day, it is like two sides of the same coin. You are, a pro you are thinking of yourself only. Your ego is absorbed in yourself and that is why it's darkness all over the place, okay? So personalities like Ravan, Kumkaran, Hiranyakashyap, Duryodhan, Shakuni, Dushasan, these people, they are victims of this, this complex. That is why one day uh, they are happy, one day they are miserable. But on the other hand, people like Vibhishan, people like Jambavan, people like Hanuman, people like Yudhishthir, people like Prithu, people like Ambarish, they are absorbed in the divine. When they are absorbed in the divine, all these things doesn't matter. I have a kingdom or I don't. Doesn't matter. I am absorbed in something higher. Something higher is there in my life. There is something better than me which I can pursue, which I can think of. Okay? Then we can get rid of this inferiority complex. And that will happen when we absorb ourselves in spiritual practices. Otherwise, it is not possible. Okay, And the day we start doing this, we will see radical transformation in our life. And our life will become very peaceful. We don't need to prove to anybody that I am good, I am better. Sheer nonsense. Okay. Thank you very much. And uh, if you are new to the channel, then please subscribe to it. And if you want a consultation from me, then please uh, go to my website now in the description section. And God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and just don't look. You realize this also, okay? And then you will find him, okay? Thank you very much. Wish you all the best. Good night.